Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to another video, another benchmark video. And today we are trying Cyberpunk 2077 with its new update, which adds path tracing technology, which is basically everything is ray traced. Every every uh, settings use ray tracing, if I would say like that. It says technology preview, so it's not final. So yeah. So let's first uh, try this game. Obviously, I'm trying this on a 3070 Ti, as you can see by the title. So yeah, that's the GPU which I have right now. I don't have any 40 series cards. This this should this should be like played on a 40 series card with uh, overdrive mode, what they call it. So anyways, so we are on a high ultra settings and we turn on path tracing, more like PTX I call that. <laughs> And uh, then we have all these post-processing turned off and we're playing on 1080p with no DLSS at first. Let's try that. Let's see how it goes. Get in touch with the administration at oh my God. This is native. <laughs> this is like native 1080p. <laughs> oh my GPU is getting wrecked right now. 14 FPS. And it doesn't even look that good. Like, obviously, look at that print. <laughs> okay, this is literally unplayable. So maybe some DLSs would improve it. Oh, what, what's up with the car? <laughs> All right then. Let's uh, turn on NVIDIA DLSs. We can't turn on frame generation on 30 series card. I wish we could do that. Anyway, let's put it on DLSS performance. Apply should be noticeably good. Oh, look at that. And now we have 34 FPS, 38, 46. And we're in the city, by the way. It's pretty intensive in this area. And it really, really looks good, I would say. It, it feels like I'm playing a different game. Probably Cyberpunk 2077, or more like Cyberpunk 2077 2, Part 2. It looks fantastic. Obviously, it doesn't look so good on 1080p. And with the uh, uh, performance mode turned on with DLSS. But it's much more playable now, I'd say. Oh, don't ram me off, dude. Okay. What's up with him? Why are you lying on the street, mate? Okay. What do you guys think about this update? Like, this is something not everyone can run. And uh, only people with 4090, 4080 are probably gonna be able to use this. With, even with obviously with frame generation turned on, that's the only thing they can do. And without that, it's unplayable, it becomes unplayable. Absolutely. Anyways, let's uh, turn up some settings, or more like turn, uh, yeah. Let's switch uh, DLSS to balanced with our high ultra setting mixed in. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it's not bad. I didn't expect to have 40 plus. I thought it would go down to 30s, or below 30, more like. But it's still looking good. Look at those reflections, though. And the updates generally states that we would see a massive difference in shadow qualities and uh, what, 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 what is that? Lights. Yeah, lighting and shadow quality. Those are basically the two things we would see difference in. I'll probably do another video show the actual differences oh, with uh, overdrive mode turned on and off look at that it looks so good so it's not that uh 30 30 30 70 ti more like a chick i should say it won't be able to run this it can definitely with the dlss performance and balance on 1080p
Look at that. It's, it looks so good. I don't have words to say. Anyway, let's uh, let's try something a little more. <laughs> that is DLSS quality mode. Let's check this out. This should easily drop to those 30. Wait, what? It doesn't. It still doesn't. It still stays 30 plus. I'm, su I'm surprised to see that. Only if the 3070 Ti had more than 8 gigs of VRAM, it would have been nicer. But it's pretty smooth. There's not much stutter here and there, which I expected. There isn't anything like that. It's pretty enjoyable though. Like if you play it on uh, DLSS. Balance mode. Okay, let's uh, call our vehicle, shall we? Wait. How do you do that? I forgot. Yeah. Where is my car? Yeah, here we go. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. The lights and the reflections. Yeah, look at that headlight bouncing, the lights bouncing off surfaces. Pretty much playable, I would say. Yeah, look at that shadow behind those uh, machines on the wall of the building, and look at the light. Look at those human human shadows. Look at those. Oh wow. You guys scared me. <laughs> um, I forgot this game's have this game has robots in it. Okay, let's uh, try something else. Let's see if we could get some better settings. I mean, better frame rate. Uh, maybe I would turn down some settings to high. Let's make everything high and see what happens. The DLS is quality, of course. Let me get a little bit more uh, No, it's pretty much the same the DLSS, uh, I mean quality and ultra settings and high settings It's pretty much the same Like, if you guys have a 3080 or 3080 Ti, I think you should be able to play this pretty good without much of a problem. Obviously on 1080p, it's easy in DLSS. You can get about 50 frames per second using the settings which I am currently, probably, on a 3080 Ti. Should be even more smoother on those GPUs because of the 16 gigabytes VRAM on the 3080 Ti and if you have a 40 series you, you shouldn't have any problem turning on frame generation shouldn't be a problem look at those okay let's let me quickly turn off this can I do that path tracing while mid game let's see how it looks Okay, that doesn't look so good. Look at our frame rate jump off though. There's honestly a lot of difference, I'd say. Quite a lot of difference. Especially in the shadows, as they mentioned. Let's turn this back on. 
Yeah, it, it is a night and day difference. Like, look at all those light bouncing off, the green light. It just bounces off when I turn it on. Like, everything the surrounding area becomes green, and if I... Oh, no. <laughs> if I just turn this off, where is it? Okay. Literally, like... It's like, it doesn't feel like natural, okay? When I turn it off. You can notice it much better because you can see the switch between the views, which I can't do right now. So let's try this again. Yeah, as you can see, it becomes the whole area becomes green over here from that light, which doesn't exist if I turn off. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Overall, it's a very good update, I feel like, especially for the newer GPUs. So yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this video. Do give a like, as I said, <laughs> and let me know if you are gonna try this on your GPUs, on your 30 series cards, this update. I think you should if you have anything uh, like 3070 Ti and above, like me, you should, you should try it on 1080p. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.